Laura Ann, my sweetheart, my love, my beautiful bride, today before God, all of our friends and family, I take you as my wife and I give myself completely to you as your husband. In these vows to you, I promise to keep and to fight for every day that the Lord gives us together on this earth. I vow to love you and give myself to you as Christ loved and gave himself up for the church. I vow to fight for and to cherish our relationship above all other earthly relationships. I vow to serve you, encourage you, and pray for you, to put your needs before mine, and to lead you in a Christ-like manner to the very best of my ability. I vow to love Christ more than I could ever possibly love you, and to always point you back to Him, because when I fail, He will fill in the gaps. When I let you down, I will point you to Christ, because He will never let you down. In times I do not know what to say, I will point you to Christ, because He will be the perfect comforter. Laura Ann, my bride, you are the sweetest, most loving woman I have ever met, and you deserve far more than I could ever give you. And I know that I will fail you. I will let you down. And believe it or not, there will be times when I do not know what to say or how to encourage you. But in those times, I vow to seek forgiveness from you and from the Lord. My sweet Laura Ann, I have found the one whom my soul loves. And today, with inexpressible joy in my heart, I take you as my wife in the good, the bad, and the ugly, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish, until Christ returns or he calls us home. Justin, I stand before you today, before our family and friends, but most importantly before our God, who brought me humbly and graciously to you. I am honored to become your wife. I can't imagine where I would be without your confidence in God's plans for us, to come together in the most precious and sacred relationship that he can have for his children. Because of you, I have a better understanding of grace, biblical truth, and passion for the gospel. Thank you for being a man of character, virtue, and honor. I admire your humility and desire to seek God above all else, including myself. By God's grace, I promise to honor and emulate that. I will respect you as a whole person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and will place them before my own. I will be by your side to share with you your happiness and success and to comfort you in the times of sorrow and disappointment. I promise to push you and challenge you in your walk with the Lord. I promise to follow you and support you. I promise to love God before you, and through Jesus Christ, I learn to be a wife whom is pleasing to the Lord. I will set my goals in life to please you and God. I will create a home that is full with love, joy, peace, and comfort. I will seek to be open and honest with you, to forgive you as Christ has forgiven me, and to always remind you of the Lord's plans and promises. I will pray for you, with you, and over you always. Forsaking all others, I will keep myself only for you as long as we both live. You are precious to me, Justin, and I cannot be more thankful for what God has done and what he will continue to do in our lives. This is my vow to you, that I will never leave you, because God commands me and because I love you.
just really love my sister. Um, and she is the best and dearest friend that I have. Um, you are absolutely the most beautiful bride I've seen. And anyone who knows you knows that your heart is even more lovely. Um, as I thought of what I wanted to share this evening, I kept coming back to one word that really described Laura to a T. And that word is genuine. Um, I looked up the definition of genuine and Google defined it as truly what something is said to be authentic. She is genuine because of her. She is a child of the king. She is who he says she is and has called her to be. Loved, forgiven, cleansed, and made new because of what Christ has done on the cross. Because of her beautiful and constant faith in Christ and by the grace of God, she gets to be all the other things I mentioned. Even though you're my younger sister, I often find myself thinking of your wise words and encouragement. You exalt Christ daily as a daughter, sister, friend, and now wife to Justin. My prayer for you both is that together you run after Jesus hard. The relationship you have is so rare these days. Two young individuals who saturate their lives with Christ, ready to put aside their own desires for the better of each other, even if it's not always easy. I pray that you challenge one another, both with actions and words, and seek Christ before all other things. You are huge parts of each other's sanctification and what an honoring role that is. Something that I've always really admired and envied in Justin is that he has the biggest, purest heart of anyone I've ever met. He simply, he simply loves people. Justin genuinely cares deeply about every person he interacts with. His passion for Christ and his kingdom is contagious, and his boldness and his willingness to share the gospel constantly challenges me and everyone around them to grow in their own faith. I can truly say that he is a man after God's own heart. Justin is the most loyal brother and the most generous person that I know. And I know that I can call him at any time and he'll be there no matter what. I look up to you in so many ways, Justin. You're humble, you're an encourager. And it's funny because my word for you is the same as Sarah's word for Laura. Uh, you're the most genuine, authentic person I've ever met. Justin is the same no matter who he's with or what he's doing. And if you've ever met Justin, I can promise that you've met the real thing. Growing up with Justin as my brother has been one of the greatest joys of my life. As we've gotten older and grown closer, my little brother truly has become my best friend. Justin, I love you, and I couldn't imagine life without you. I saw